Hey folks, Techniverse here. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kira and one of the cooler features that a lot of people don't know about. Now, I will say that I discovered this watching Chuck Hellebuck's video on the latest release version of Kira 4.7, which came out, I believe, last Friday for Filament Friday. And I was just kind of checking it out, comparing it to the video that I did last week on 4.7. And like I said, this was a great, great idea. So Chuck, thanks for the idea. And I just want to show you guys a cool little trick. The Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Alright, so the beauty of this is that there's actually a way in here to add individual supports manually. And it's basically pretty simple. You're going to select the model, then you're going to go down here and click the support blockers. And you'll see all this in Chuck's videos. Um... I just thought it was a really cool trick and wanted to try it myself, so I thought that I would show you guys in case you wanted to come along. So I can place the support blocker there, and in fact, I think I'm going to move it a little bit. The nice thing about support blockers is you can just grab them and move them around. And I want to make sure it's at the lowest point of the hand so it can build up from there. And I think... We will actually take the scale up to 125%. That should do slightly better. Let's move it around a little bit more. There we go. I think that should be pretty good. So then we're basically going to copy this. And you can do that just by the same model. Uh, tools used to select and copy a model. You can tell it's designated as a support blocker because it's negative space. You can see it's kind of translucent. Uh, does not, however, put the copy where the original is. It put the copy down here on me. So I'm going to have to grab it, pull it over, drag it up. And another problem is, because I didn't select this one and it's taking it as a model, I have drop to build plate automatically enabled. I don't want to unenable that, so let's delete this. We'll go back in to Boo here, and we'll add another blocker right there. It's an easier way to do it, I think. And move that one a little bit. Okay. So after you have your support blockers where you want, you're going to go into the menu just above it here. And you're going to click print as support. So you see it turns green like the rest of my model, except it's got this stripey pattern that's kind of letting you know that it's supported. So we're going to do that to both of them. And then if I go over here, my support settings are actually turned on. But watch this. I turned them off. And I'm still left with all of these settings. So these are the settings for how it's going to print this support right here. So I can leave it on zigzag. Let's give it a quick slice. We'll jump over to preview mode and examine it real quick. Now, I believe that it still lets me set it to... Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't let me set it to just the build plate. So it may build up over my model's leg here. Um, which isn't really ideal. It's one of the reasons I use tree supports. Because you can get around that pretty easily and build pretty much all the support you need from the build plate and I think it has a nicer contact area with the model as well but um, doesn't look like you can pick tree support for selected individual support so uh, it can be very useful I would assume in certain situations in fact I'm printing a model right now that I wish I had known about this because instead of using the tree support I probably would have just supported the one little corner that needed it and I can show you that real quickly as well. Let me just find it. So this is printed in orientation like this. Uh, I was going to submit this for Polymaker's Hook Contest, but... Uh, Unfortunately, I don't have any Polymax right now, so I can't do that. But as you can see, uh, when oriented like this, this bot right here 
is kind of an overhang this corner and there's one on the other side as well um, and I would have used this support system there so let's finish slicing this alright so let's see what our results look like now that it's done slicing and it's going to process our preview and hopefully we have some zigzag support just under these hands here uh, the interface settings I was talking about earlier that I prefer between the tree support and the standard support there are things that you can change in here to make it a little smoother of a transition easier to remove like uh, things in here usually the ones that say interface the roof is also a good one um, but it looks like it did a pretty good job of avoiding my model as much as it could which unfortunately right here means that this lowest part of this knuckle is not going to be supported so there's going to be some stringing there so um, not my best option for support on this particular model I think but still a very very handy tool to have and I can see a lot of situations where this would be nice let's try a different slicing technique and see if we get anything that's a little bit more supportive of that hand so instead of the zigzag let's go up here and I think we can try concentric it should be pretty close to the shape that it's printing above it we'll slice that alright so once again we've sliced we have this now with concentric lines and let's check out the preview mode again it's gonna have to build up and process the layers before it can show us but uh, what we're going for here is just kinda seeing what best supports that lowest part of the hand and I get the feeling that the results are gonna be pretty similar it's really only gonna support from the platform up um, and I think that may be uh, intentional so let's see here Yep, there we go. Once again, the lowest part of the hand is not supported. So, uh, again, yeah, a very handy tool. Um, just make sure that when you're placing your individual supports that you are double checking to make sure that it is the right support selection for you. Because if you're not placing it under the place where you need it, the lowest part of the model where you're trying to support, then it's not going to build up from there and it's going to leave stringing. So I want to bring, just to kind of illustrate one more thing here, this overhang here on his head went too far, is a really, really uh, a tough one because he has this curvature to it, to where, there we go. To where the bottom here the back is lower than a lot of the other part here so I would have to support it right there in order for the model to form correctly and then it would build the two of them together as they met right here um, but it doesn't look like I'd be able to do that with this type of support because it is going to be above the body let's check just to be thorough one last time let's check and see if that theory is correct. We'll take this over here, over here, go right up the back, and put it right here. And we'll slice it one last time. This time we'll try um, we'll try a zigzag again just so we know we're using one that we already tried and it'll be a similar result and once again we'll slide over and hit preview mode of that model let it process the layers and generate our gpath and see what comes of it i'm not sure i'm going to get anything because like i said this point i think doesn't extend out past the body of the back so maybe because it is a support blocker that we're using and changing that to print as support and maybe that's why it's not doing what i kind of want it to uh, but we will see here and it looks like yeah we didn't get any support from that so be wary when using the support with the support blockers that it may not print anything if it is not directly above the bed so always check your file after you slice it well that's it guys that's gonna wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt 
The merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.